Oh, oh, it's just me. Jeez, I thought you'd be used to having a delinquent living at your house by now. What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. I thought some fresh air might help. Did it? Until I ran into you again. Okay, we have to talk about that kiss, don't we? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Me first. Uh, I don't know, uh... <laughs> I, I liked it. I haven't stopped thinking about it. I don't think I've slept at all. No, I haven't. What do we do? <sighs> Seems about right. <laughs> Mom, it's, it's not uh, what we I were just like. I have some physical limitations, but my eyesight is not among them. Zig to your room now. It is three o'clock in the morning on a school night, and you are up making out with our house guest? Well, when you put it like that... This can't happen again. Tell me you heard me. What did I just say? This can't happen again. Losing a baby is always difficult, but it's particularly hard at this point in a pregnancy because you still have to deliver it. I thought you'd just suck it out. Unfortunately, you are too far along for a traditional abortion. Your body will naturally go into labor in the next two weeks, or I can induce you. In addition to the procedure, you may want to consider how you want to commemorate your child. I'll leave this with you. Checklist. Lock of hair. Footprints, seriously? We can just throw this out, right? Well, wait a minute. There's a reason people do this. We should at least consider it. Oh, I am so glad we're talking again because I'm lost on this. <laughs> what did you get for question three? I made a huge mistake. So fix it, drama queen. That's what this work period's for. No, not on the assignment. Like, in life. You kiss egg. What? How did you know? Come on. We've been sniffing each other's butts for months. How did it happen? Was it magic dish? Well, my mom caught us. Oh, total drums. Where's my popcorn? It's a serious trish. She said it can't happen again. Well, she can't tell you who to love. No. I still live in her house, so does Zig. Are we just supposed to sneak around forever? And write an online diary about it, so I can read every juicy detail. Yeah, but if we got caught, my mom would hate me. She's been so good to me lately. What, you're just gonna dump Zig? What else am I supposed to do? For our presentation, meet Amelia Earhart and her crewman, Fred Noonan. Think they were ever secretly in love? Wasn't she married? Well, maybe that's why they disappeared. Maybe they landed on a deserted island together forever. That never happened. <sighs> Still an escape from everything, it sounds nice. Um, uh, hey, you should get a little outfit like this for baby Goldsworthy. That would be adorable with a little ride-along airplane. So cute. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We present in like 10 minutes. What am I supposed to tell Perino? Tell him I'm illustrating how Amelia Earhart left and never came back. So, have my mini set designer settled on a look? I think it should be a Japanese manga look in all action and movement. And ambiguous locations. These are supposed to be sets, right? It has to be American style. Tall buildings, mountainscapes. Soulless and dull. Are you describing the images or yourself? I'm describing any idiot who thinks that American comics are better than Japanese. You're so frustrating. Get it. If you like her, why are you so mean to her? It's just the way we talk. Oh, you like her? That is so cute. Nope. Kill switch. Stop this. Okay, if you really want a shot with her, your sister's right. You need to treat her differently. Romantically. You need to send her a love letter or chocolates or flowers. <sighs> Be the hero of your own story, Hunter. 
I've seen your pattern and and I can't match it. Just trace the lines on your paisley. What? Your friend said you ditched school. Are you all right? I'm fine. Okay, well, where are you? Driving. Where to? I'll meet you there. Look, we should probably talk about all that stuff from this morning. No, thank you. Dude, I got the casserole surprise instead of the mac and cheese. You feeling okay? What if I screwed everything up? Oh, well, take it easy. It's just lunch. He doesn't mean with the food. He means with the kissing. I'm sure you're not that bad a kisser. I will forgive you. It's not Maya I'm worried about. It's her mom. You kissed her mom too? <laughs> nice. No, I betrayed her. She gave me one rule and I broke it after she's been so good to me. So, uh, what, you just gonna break it off with Maya? <laughs> you are here to support me. I do not want to talk about it. Can you handle that? Yes. But you heard the doctor. We should probably look at the You want check. me to pull this car over, Goldsworthy? Okay, okay. <sighs> so where are we going? Next stop, New York City. Hi, uh, delivery for Arlene Takahashi. Can you believe some dweeb sent me flowers? How do you know he's a dweeb? Because they're flowers. Could you be more unoriginal? And he used that tired old secret admirer cliche. What a turd. Yeah, total turd. On the plus side, he wants to meet up later. But, but if he's a turd, then why do you want to meet up with him? Well, I don't want to meet him, but we should probably find out what kind of weirdo has a crush on me, right? We? Oui? Unless you want me to go alone to a location inhabited by a potential serial killer. No, of course not. So your plan is to march into Columbia Admissions office and? Convince them to let me accept my offer. Why not just call? Harder to turn someone down in person. I guess. But didn't you already say no like a month ago? So? What's one more student? If I was worthy then, I'll be worthy now, right? What? Don't agree? No, 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 of course, of course. Um, do you want to hit the road? Why don't you let me drive? Thanks. I'll give me some time to jot down some points for my talk with the admissions officer. What? I don't know. It's not starting. Maybe the battery's dead? You gotta be kidding me. It's okay. I'll just call my folks. They'll come get us. We'll be back before dinner. Are you trying to take me back? What if you go into labor on the road? I knew you didn't really support me. Oh, Claire, I do, I swear. There's just a lot of things to consider. I am going to New York, and if you won't take me, I'll find someone who will. Wait, 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 wait. You can't hitchhike to New York. I sure can, if I can find someone to take me. You can't keep running away. I am not running away. For the first time in months, I am running towards my future. Claire, we lost a the child. There are things we have to deal with. It's okay to take a break. I don't want to take a break! A year ago, I had cancer. And then I got better, and I thought, now. Now you can live your life. And then I got pregnant. What was the point of any of this if I was just going to lose this stupid baby? Take a break, Claire, the universe keeps telling me, but no, I will not take a break. Not for this, not for that doctor, and not for that stupid car. Okay, I'll take you. How? The battery's dead. I may have faked it. Are you serious? Just forget about that. I want you to be happy. And after everything you've been through, 
You deserve this. So please, let me take you. Okay, fine. But we follow GPS directions. No funny business. We should talk. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So obviously we, yeah. we can't... Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to Exactly. Your mom. Rules are rules. Without her, I'd basically be homeless. So that's settled? Call it off? Whatever it is. Or, or was. Good. Good. Except what if I can't do that? What? What do you mean? I don't know, Zig. I think I might love you. Damn it, Maya. That... That, that sucks. Wait, why? Because I might love you, too. Wow. <laughs> Wait, so we're actually doing this? Sneaking around, midnight kisses, only holding hands on the way to school? Uh, no, no, no. Your mom has been so good to me. If we're really gonna do this, we owe it to her to be honest. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to her. She can't control what we love, right? <laughs> And if the admissions officer says our first year program is full, how do you propose I let you in? I say that I'm willing to audit the classes until the first few students inevitably drop out. I can wait. Okay. And if she says, well, won't you be liable to slack if your early assignments aren't being marked? No. I'm the most determined girl you'll ever meet. Corn chips? We saw so definitely. And if she's like, great, you're in, but you will have to find accommodation in New York City, which can be very difficult. I tell her I'll live with my boyfriend. Really? Doesn't that sound nice? Obviously. Ooh, raisins. <laughs> um, rotten grapes? Disgusting. How about beef jerky? Oh, sure, dried fruit, gross, but dried animal carcass. <laughs> Oh, okay, how about this one? What makes you uniquely deserving of this special exception? Claire? I tell her if you think I overcame adversity when I beat cancer, wait till you see what I'm like after losing a baby. I was going to entertain his romantic advances, he'd sure be blowing it by being so late. Should we just go finalize the sets? Don't you want to see what kind of guy he is? Like, is he a tuba playing band kid or some mouth breathing jock? With one of those chin strap beards? You, and a pop's collar. <laughs> Two pop collars? <laughs> the layered look is so in right now, bro. Yes, he says bro in every sentence. He's not coming, is he? Guess not. Oh well, let's go to the drama room, finalize the sets. What was the point of all that then? Just some sort of elaborate prank? I guess so. What a jerk. Seriously? Oh wait, I, I don't know, maybe? So even you think it's impossible that someone could actually like me? <laughs> what? I'm just the nerdy girl here for everyone to mock. Cool. Wait, did you want the change drop guy to like you? Mom, let me help you with that. Oh, someone's sucking up. Guess you feel suitably bad about last night. I am ready to be mature about it. So, you and Zay can put it on ice? No. Excuse me? It's not just a fling. We weren't trying to sneak around. At 3 a.m.? Yes, but we're in love and we want to be together. You can't control who I love and neither can I. Okay. Really? Zig's a good kid. And if you feel you need to date, you could do worse. But he can't live here anymore. What? I can't have you two shacking up. Oh, okay, never mind. Forget we talked. We'll just take those feelings and put them back in a bottle. Honey, you just said you can't control who you love. But where is he gonna go? Back to his mom's? He's been doing great. He's got that restaurant job. His grades are up. It's time for him to transition back to his life.
Don't burst my bubble. Just for one minute, imagine that we can have a future with everything we've ever wanted. Okay, you're right. Um, a secret study with a huge balcony. <laughs> and I suppose you'd want to... He made a deep controlled beef jerky drawer. <laughs> Hardy har har. <laughs> Do you think you would have liked jerky, too? Our, um, son? <sighs> Maybe. But I'd have done better. I just can't believe we're never gonna get to know him. We might never know why. It's just not fair. It would have been beautiful and amazing. <sighs> so, ready to throw? No. It's time to turn around. Some things to take care of. Come here. Okay. 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 Hey. I found some American style panels. I don't totally hate that we could use for backdrops. Hilarious. Why? I'm sorry I got mad at you yesterday. It's fine, really. Well, to apologize, I found some Japanese-style panels that don't make me want to barf everywhere. <laughs> that is hilarious. So we're cool? Yeah. He was the one who didn't show up, and you were the one there for me. You're pretty much my best friend. Yeah, you too. Cool. Cool. So, I guess I can stop pretending to like these awful American comics then. I believe you mispronounced awesome in every way. You know, maybe we can use them. As uh, welcome mats for people to wipe their feet on before they enter. I won't even say what people can wipe with your manga pages. <laughs> Probably just because you couldn't think of anything. Here is my heart Coming round the bend Oh my heart Time for the procedure. You nervous? Oh, easy. Thanks for being here. And you sure you don't want to do any of this commemorative stuff? I won't forget him, I know that. I kind of want those memories to stay between us. The three of us will always have our road trip. I was in the car. You ready to go? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Oh my love, open up. Oh my love, you give me truth. Honest love, honest love, all this stuff for you. Have to pack when you're constantly unpacking. You can't go, Zig. I don't leave tonight, but I do have to leave. Where are you gonna stay? My mom's? I, I don't know. You don't know? Look, I'm gonna meet with Jose and we're gonna figure out what makes the most sense for me, all right? Find a warm bed. Okay, you know what? I'll move out. I'll go live with Tristan. You stay here. Maya, find your chill. I have no chill, Zig. We kissed and I wasn't thinking straight. And now you're gonna have to live on the streets and it's all my fault. What, for being so great that I fell for you? Was that your evil plan all along? 
Maya, this is just as much my fault as it is yours, all right? And this is the only way we get to be together. It's gonna be all right. You sure? As long as we're together, what could possibly go wrong? Make it through.